Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Now I am on cloud.uipath.com and processes tab. And in the processes tab, you can see I have published my Action Center demo from the UiPath Studio. So would you like to learn how can you publish processes in Action Center? Okay, how to publish processes in Action Center? Let's learn this. Let's go back to our UiPath Studio. So this particular example, how to build this entire workflow, I have already shown in the previous videos where I have built this entire workflow and this entire workflow is just asking the user to enter a reimbursement amount and somebody is approving it. Okay. So this workflow I have already given a demo. Let's say you have got some other workflow and you would like to learn how can I publish it and how that can appear in the processes tab in action center. So let's have a look. Okay. So let's get started and see how it can be done. So I am in the UiPath studio. I am hitting on the publish button. Give it a second. All right. Now before publishing, make sure the project does not contain contain interactive activities. Otherwise, it, okay, fine. So here is the action center demo by Expo Hub and the version number is 1.0.3 and you can put a note um, improved. I'm putting a release note improved version of employee reimbursement. Okay. And I'm hitting on publish. So this is quite simple in the UiPath studio. Once you have built it, all you need to do is hit on publish and get on to next, next, next. And this has been published and I'm going to click on OK. All right. Now the next thing, what you should do, you should go to your orchestrator. Okay. You should go to your orchestrator. And now here I am going to click on tenant. All right. Now here let's look for the something called packages. Do you see packages? So once the process that you have created, so when you are creating a new project, generally you go to process, right? New project, you hit on the process and you create it. And once this process get upload, once you publish it to the orchestrator, what would happen? The term changes it to packages. So now you can see the package action center demo and this name exactly coming from the project name. If you see the process I have created in the UFA studio, the name was Action Center Demo by Expo Hub and the exact name you would find in the orchestrator, Action Center Demo by Expo Hub. Okay. And now here it says a minute ago it was published. Okay. Just a minute ago it has published. Fine. So once this is published, okay, this has been published. Now what should I do? I have to create a process, isn't it? Now. The very important thing I need to remember in the UiPath Studio, check which folder your UiPath Studio is connected to the orchestrator. It could be default folder, shade folder, it could be anything. Just check that. For me, I have created named it as IT folder. And if I go back to the orchestrator, this is the IT folder. Okay. Now in the IT folder, I want to create a process. Okay. So ensure you select the same, same folder and then try to create a process. All right. Now I'm going to click on add process. Now the one thing this was previously created process. So first of all, let me try to remove this. Are you sure you want to delete the selected process along with the associated triggers? Delete. Okay. Now it is completely blank. Now if I go to the processes tab. Okay. Now the processes tab also it's completely blank. See nothing is there. Now let's go back to orchestrator. It's very simple. Just that we need to try it once. Okay. So I am in the IT folder and here uh, there is no process. Okay. I'll click on the processes tab and I'm going to click on add process. <clears throat> Clear? The moment I click on add process, the package that I have uploaded is going to appear over here. So it has appeared over here and automatically it is going to pull the version number. So if you are not happy with the recent version, you want to run with the older one, you want to do a rollback, you can always select. But anyways, I'm going with the latest one. Fine. And you can see entry point is main.xml and this main.xml is the 
package coming from your UAP studio fine so once this is uploaded all I need to do here is I have selected the package I have selected the version or I have verified the version and then I'm going to hit on next simple so once I do this now it is asking package action center demo by Xbox okay um, package requirements there is no such requirements I'm going to hit on next and it is asking the uh, description so what the process description uh, this process is for I'm going to mention that employee reimbursement okay so I have mentioned some update display name I'm going to say what display name you want to give accent center uh, or I'm going to say employee reimbursement employee reimbursement okay so one, once you okay so once you type this once everything is filled job priority I am keeping it normal process can be stopped from UiPath assistant uh, can't be stopped so I I can stop it I, I want to keep it open so everything is fine right now one more thing before you create what you do you open your uh, UiPath assistant once okay so if you open the UiPath assistant it's taking a bit of time okay now if you check this if, uh, because I have deleted the process so what happened now my UiPath assistant is completely blank and there is no processes to show okay it is completely blank now you will see the moment I hit on create okay it is created now if I go to my UiPath assistant and try to refresh now you can see employee reimbursement process has appeared on the UiPath assistant okay so you can see it has appeared very good now after this if you want to run this there are two ways I can run it from here okay I can start the job from here the moment I do it it will start running I can also run it from the action center I can I can just click on this and run it or else the other other option is processes in action center okay so the so we got to know how to upload the uh, process uh, and now it has appeared on our assistant everything is fine now the next the the option that has been given over here processes so this is the uh, unique place where you could find your processes that you could run so you can see the process that I have created there is a if you create multi multiple processes like this it is going to have more uh, visual graphical icons like this and you can just click on that and you, you can get inside that the the there are another way to run it is by clicking on this icon which is run process if you click on the run process you can start the process from here itself or else in the processes window if you click on that you, you will also come over here and you can click you have option to run process so up to you so now we will we, we will learn we can we can once you have this icon you can start running from it here or click on this and run it from here so it doesn't matter how you run it so once the process starts if you go to the UiPath assistant now you can see something has started awaiting install so it is trying to get that entire package the instructions from the orchestrator so it is trying to install waiting for execution job started processing do you see and here it is saying running okay now if you see in the processes uh, tab in action center now here if you see it is saying running and if you go to the, your UiPath assistant is a job started processing and then as per our design it has prompted us to enter some details so it is asking me enter the amount you would like to reimburse let's say I want to reimburse 15,000 rupees from the company for my travel expense and I'm going to click on ok now just look at both the screens job started processing running okay last run so so what happened now here somebody has applied for 15,000 rupees now it will go to the approver uh, the approver has to approve it so you can see as per my design it is automatically assigning me instead of it is going to the pending uh, unassigned um, tab it has directly come to pending tab because in the previous video I have explained how to do that using the assigned task activity so I have assigned it to myself 
okay so let's let's see what i should do let me approve entire 15000 for this employee uh, approve and complete so this is a demo this is a simple demo just to demonstrate how the processes in action center works how do you publish so it has been done now if you go to the processes tab and also check your action center job started processing do you see it is saying job started processing and if you click on this okay so as per, as per my design it has shown the status to, to the user that it has been approved okay request has been approved if you wanted to fetch the amount that also can be done so now you can see um, it is still saying running if you refresh this it, it said successful right so this is how you can start a process and you can see what has happened now let's say uh, i am going to start the process from here okay the moment it stops i have the option to even stop it from here right i can also stop it i can pause it so let's say we we need to see the status what's happening so now what is the status it's saying running right so let's go back to the uapath assistant and try to i'm trying to stop it are you sure you want to stop the action center demo yes so now refresh let's see what what is the status going to come so it it is it has given me a status called stopped okay let's do one more thing okay let's try one more way let's say i'm going to run it from here okay so these are the various statuses which can come expense reimbursement details let's say i am going to close this window from here so what happened it has faulted i mean there is some kind of a problem happened right somebody has closed it so now if you check the status let's go back now what has happened because i have started from the attended way it has not sent any kind of uh, communication to the action center that is what has happened now let's do this let's go back to the process and try to run it, run it from here either way you can run so i'm running it from here now let's see job started processing and i'm going to close it so now this process was started from the orchestrator processes tab now what happened let's see so i have closed it right so now it is given a status called faulted faulted means some kind of a problem has happened so this kind of a experiment you can do uh, for your learning purpose and to and to see how things are working my main objective was to tell you how we can publish from your uap studio to orchestrator and see that process in the processes tab and you have a pretty good way to run it and you have a pretty good way to see the statuses there are also multiple options that you can experiment for example you want to check this what happened uh, copy execution details view logs you can kill you can restart a process okay employee reimbursement executed at so and so time so all these details are available so all this can be experimented and you can learn more about this what are this uh, information that has appeared how you can utilize that so that requires bit of experiment you can also have the option to download so the main objective is clear and i would leave rest of you to experiment little more and learn so learning through experiments learning through by doing it is a great way of learning so thank you so much for watching this video guys we are going to come up with more interesting informations and knowledge on ui path for you thank you for the timing we'll meet again bye bye